We care about our overseas K-pop fans. And this is segment catering to our foreign viewers. Who want to know more about the language and culture of their favorite singers. It's time for... Reading the, the Lyrics! Hi everyone, it's your lyrics fairy Ellie. I'm your lyrics guy Wyatt. What up everyone? And... One, two, three! <laughs> 새해 복 많이 받으세요! Yeah! Are you wondering what we just said? It's what we say at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. Yo. It means that we wish you many, 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 many blessings and good fortune in the new year. So, 새해 복 많이 받으세요. 많이. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wyatt. Yeah. Now that the new year has begun, is yeah. there something new you want to try? I want to try, you know, I want to visit all the country. Like, I want to oh. go tour. Like, world you tour. want to go on a tour? Yes, yeah, to meet all the global fans and also our oh. pop viewers. Oh. What about you, Ellie? You Me? Mm, I want to try some new type of music. <gasps> what kind of music? Uh, a band kind? Like, band. Like rock style? Woo! Yeah, like Not this? rock, though. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> and one more thing. Bang. I'm gonna try write mm -hmm. some poems. Poems. Poems? What? Yeah. But why? Any special reason? Um, I listened to IU's fifth mini album, Love Poem, and I was so inspired. Wow. The lyrics sounded like poetry. Yeah, right. And you know what? IU wrote all the lyrics and it's pretty incredible. But anyway, you know, writing poetry isn't all that easy. I know. It's not easy, Ellie. But are you sure you are ready to give it a go? Um, yeah. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> poetry is just such a great way to express yourself mm -hmm. and you can find inspiration in your everyday life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not gonna try to win a prize or anything, so I'll just try to write based on my own thoughts and feelings. Yeah, sounds like a great idea, Ellie. Well, as a future poet, why don't you try to introduce the artist we'll focus on today in a poetic way? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, today's edition of Reading the Lyrics is quite special. Right. Since it's the first edition of the year 2020. And in hopes that only nice and beautiful things bloom in the lives of our pop friends, not you, pop friends. No. I decided to choose I use Blooming. Yeah, Blooming. It's spelled B L U E M I N G, right? Mm hmm, right. It's not B L O O M I N G. You all know how the word blue can be used to describe your emotion, mm -hmm. like feeling blue. Well, this song is about an emotion that blooms, mm -hmm. and that emotion is actually love. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow, you figure it out yourself by yourself, Ellie. You should be yes. a detective. Oh, like. King. King. A detective. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know how mm -hmm. a lot of figure of speech is used in poetry? Mm -hmm. Well, that's exactly no. Uh, yeah, no? I know. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's exactly the case with I use blooming. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. There's a part that goes Nemokanan bloom. Mm -hmm. Which means mm -hmm. The rectangular box has bloomed. Mm -hmm. Let your thumbs allow roses to bloom. So basically, the two people described in the song are... Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> sharing their feelings by texting each other. Yeah, right. And in the second verse, it goes, 우리의 색은 gray and blue. Or our colors are gray and blue. Yeah, I'm not sure if it, this is true for all kinds of phones, but when you text each other, Mm, your messages are showing against the blue background, right? And the other person's messages have a gray background. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So based on this, you can tell that the two of them are testing each other. There is even a play on words, mm. and right afterwards, she goes, that's me. 
Chiuni means the author or the writer, and IU's real name is Yi Chi Eun. Oh. So she was referring to herself as the lyricist and by her real name at the same time. Wow. Wow. IU's real name is Ji. Tiyuni suits her for perfectly, considering she's written on a lot of songs. Mm. Oh. She was born to be a songwriter. I'm jelly. Oh, well, you don't have to. In good ways. Uh -huh. And now, why don't we go more in depth on Ayu's blooming? Why yet? Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 뭐해 나는 두 글자에 네가 보고 싶어 나의 속마음을 담아 우. 이모티콘 하나하나 속에 달라지는 내 미묘한 심리를 알까? 우. Wow. Ooh. You know, hearing that has made my heart skip beat like. 쿵쿵 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 쿵쿵. 우. 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 Yeah. We've gone over this word before. 달라지는 or 다르다. Yeah. Don't confuse it with 틀리다. 틀리다 means wrong. Yeah. 다르다 means different. You know, is it all coming back to you now? Ooh. Ooh. Then, do you know the difference between 다르다 and 달리다? Mm, 다르다, 다르다 means different. 달리다 means to run. So, we've got 다르다, 달. You really have to pronounce it like that. 다르다, 다르다. Mm. Okay. This is my I style. Was so okay, I respect it. Let's go over the second word. Mm -hmm. 미묘한. Mm -hmm. 미묘한 means something very small. Delicate or subtle? Yeah, like 미묘하게 다르다. 미묘하게 다르다. Like means that something is only slightly different. There's something else <laughs> I wanted to tell you about. Yeah. 미묘하다. Mm -hmm. 미묘하다 mm -hmm. can be used to describe a feeling that you can't clearly describe in words because you don't really understand it yourself. Yeah, right. Then we use the expression 국적 미묘 to describe the kind of feeling. So, on this week's Reading the Lyrics, we talked about IU's Blooming, mm -hmm. a story by Chiyuni describing the blooming of love that leads to feelings that are difficult to describe. Yeah. And we hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, until the day when all the K-pop fans around the world don't need a translator to understand their favorite songs. We'll do our best on Reading, Reading the, the Lyrics! Bye-bye! <laughs>